Welcome back, everybody, to another episode. I believe this is, what, episode 27 now. All right, 27, creeping up there. Um, yeah, this is part two, though. Part two of building the mob farm. So, yeah, uh, last episode, if you didn't watch it, there should be a video playing up the screen right there. That is the part one. And we built this structure, and uh, I kind of explained what was going on. In this episode, however... We are going to start working on our redstone. So what we need to do here, let's go ahead and just jump right in. We need to find center. Center is going to be in the space between all those blocks. So this would be center. This is where the mobs will end up falling down. What we need is a uh, too high spot. So uh, yeah, because the roof's going to be too high so the mobs can walk underneath it. And I'm just going to use cobblestone here for the center. Not a big deal. So. Let's just go ahead and start laying out a little bit of a floor here. Uh, how we need to do this is we need to give the mob some space to fall off the platform. So, I'm thinking I want to do more than just one block out this way, right? Um, they'll fall down through this one block, but that just kind of gets them hung up a little bit. So, I kind of want to do mine two blocks. So, given this space going out, I think what we'll do is we'll go like this. Come out here, one more, one more, and then we'll just kind of follow this little pattern out like this. Uh, I believe right there. And then like that. Perfect. And then just follow that in, stepping it down a little bit as we move along. Just like that. That one actually might be too far far I don't know yeah, we'll see this will be it's not really big but it should be plenty for what we need to do um, we don't have real complicated redstone or a whole lot of redstone going on in here it, it gets a little bit tricky if you don't have a, a good mind I guess it that's I guess a bad choice of words because I get kind of sidetracked sometimes and confused with redstone um, so that's not really what I mean. Let's see. See, this is still only one block. And these are going to go up this wall. This is going to be a wall right here. And I think that's plenty. That's plenty of space for them to fall through right here. This is going to be just a solid wall all the way around. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. So let's just go ahead and what we need to do is we need to put in a hopper clock here. Uh, pretty simple mechanics if you haven't seen one of these before i believe ethos is the one who originally designed this let's just go ahead and you take two hoppers like that and face them into each other here just like that now we need to take two pistons sticky pistons and place one like that at that end another one like that at that end get a redstone block and pick a side either side doesn't really matter which side and then from right here on the other side of the hoppers take a comparator put one facing the opposite way from the hoppers it's going to read when there's items in the hopper and then take a building block doesn't really matter what it is get rid of food we don't need any stinking food right put one at the corner there another one at the corner there get some redstone dust just like that that's your hopper clock right there pretty simple stuff uh, what if you don't know I'll show you real quick the way this works is you just take how many ever items you want depending on how long you want your clock to be and you stick it in there it powers up this piston and it starts dumping all the items off into this one as soon as this gets empty it depowers that which depowers this that's already powered so it pushes over so it only takes one tick for this to uh, retract this piston just like that so yeah that's pretty much the only mechanics on the uh oops there we go they're hard to shut off sometimes though all right but yeah that's it that's the mechanics on a hopper clock so we need to add to this though we need a mono stable circuit so what's a mono stable circuit well it provides a one tick pulse which is something we need for our droppers so or for our dispensers sorry not our droppers 
Um, so let's just go ahead. It'll be easier. Oops, what did I do? It'll be easier to explain once it's done. So take a repeater, point it away. No, de no delay like that. So when this gets powered up, comes over here, it's going to trip this mono stable circuit. Let's just go ahead and cut that out of there. Like, so get your sticky pistons back. And you could probably do this without a sticky piston, but you would need like sand. Um, so not a big deal. And then take a block of your choice. We'll just go ahead and just to break it up here so we can see that that's the monostable circuit. All right, now you can work off of either edge of this, but since we're trying to keep everything within the framework here, we're going to take another repeater, go like that. This one we will need a one tick delay because what we're going to do here is we are actually let's go ahead we're going to take a torch and we're going to put it up there like that all right so now when this gets powered here let's uh let's do this huh what the heck go like that so that way of course i made it too long so now watch this when it trips that's going to flicker off there we go. See, that's what we wanted. Oops. All right, there we go. So even though that's powered, see, that's still powered because the piston's up. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. And you'll be able to see this torch from the outside. It's not a big deal. Um, it's not going to be enough to uh, keep the mobs from spawning. Um, it's not bright enough and actually I don't think that that counts towards it and I'm just gonna tower up some redstone uh, torches here all right so now we go like this I'm just trying to I, I just kind of want to center this up a little bit um, it's not a big deal as long as everything still works we need to get this up a little bit higher here let's see let's go ahead and try to center this up a little bit more like that And this is, I think, pretty close to center, so we'll take that for now. This is going to be the floor where the mobs are spawning, so let's bring this up a little bit here. We need to bring this tower, this torch tower up some more. All right, so what we're going to do here, that might be good enough. Let's see. We need, let me grab some dirt, for scaffolding here. What we need to do, sorry, I'm just trying to get over here so I can explain it. Okay. So, let's see. We can actually, well, that's going to be lit all the time. So, let's see if we put that there, that's lit. So we'll still end up having to reverse the circuit here. That's not a big deal. Actually, no, we still got to go up some more. This is going to be, we need two spaces here, just like all the platforms. Uh, so this will be the roof, the interior roof. We're actually going to end up putting up two roofs here um, because we're going to sandwich the redstoning here for the uh, hopper or the uh, dispenser mechanics in the center. So this will be the interior roof. All right, so that's how high it's going to be. So we need to leave this space. So this is actually going to be our floor right there. Let's grab that. I think we could probably, right, that was one. So we need to go up. There's two. So this would actually be the top. That's where we want to lay our redstone floor. So, yep, yep, yep. All right, All right, one. To, actually, I don't think we need that on top here. I think that should be good enough. Let me just run some dirt here just to make sure that I know what I'm talking about here. Because I'd hate to set this all this up and fail or fall just like that. That's good times. And of course, I don't have enough dirt. Boy, this is this episode's just going great, isn't it? Okay. Okay, so that yeah, no, that's that's gonna be.
perfect, I think. Yeah, because this will be the top of the roof, so I actually don't even need that torch right there. That'll be perfect. So now when that gets powered down there, that'll turn that on. So that is going to be perfect. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Cool, so let's go ahead and build ourselves a little bit of platform here. Let me build up a little platform right here, and I will be back in just a minute. All right, everybody. Welcome back here. That was a little bit of a hassle up here doing this, and it started raining. I had to wait for the daytime to go away and, and go to sleep. And yeah, so I don't want to get this roof out here too far. I don't want them spawning yet. I guess I could have probably went and got some more torches to light up down there, but we don't want them spawning yet underneath us. we got to be careful of that. Um, yeah, so I built these out a little bit. You'll see I've got the... Uh, uh, I've got the bricks out here. This is actually going to be built out a little ways. This is where our dispenser and water system is going to go. I'm eventually be hidden in what we're going to do with our design, I think, at least initially with what it looks off the top of my head. This is where the torches come up, obviously. This is where we left off uh, right before the last transition. So what we're going to do is we need to set up our dispensers. Um, well, I guess we don't necessarily need to do that yet. I probably don't have enough space out here for what we're gonna do. This is gonna take up, it's gonna take up some height. We're actually gonna end up with, I don't know what level we're on, what, 237, we got plenty of space. We're gonna end up having to work up. Uh, I think this is all gonna take about five or six blocks high. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be all, all the empty space gonna have to be half slab and stuff once we seal it all off. Um, not too big of a deal, but a little bit of a pain in the butt, but that's okay. So, Let's see what we need to do now. We're not going to hook this up yet. We need to set up an RS nor latch system. Oops. Do this. All right. Pretty much what, if you're unfamiliar with an RS nor latch, is, uh, let's see, we'll go like that. That's good enough for now. Is it is a, um, what am I thinking here? It's kind of like a, a memory for your redstone. So we go like this into the back of that. And then another torch right there. And just like that. So now when we get a pulse to this, it will, I don't think I have a button or anything. Uh, it will trip this. So when this trips is going to switch this so now this will be lit and this one won't be so what we want to do what we're doing up here try to explain this is going to be a little easier to just have you see what the heck is going on and of course i didn't build this out far enough but that's okay because we're going to need a little bit of space here uh, not too much i suppose all this dirt's going to end up having to turn into cobble at some point but it will work for now okay so doo -doo -doo -doo. i gotta think about this here what this is going to do is this is going to activate our other timer system up here right above this so above this we will actually need to put a sticky piston do we that up there I think we need to go like this all right grab our sticky pistons here we need one right there bam perfect 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 so that's lit up and we're gonna put in our other timing system right in here so let's just go ahead and get that set up here so hopper timer so we need let's do that grab a hopper into that destroy this one okay and our other hopper into that all right there we go stone block oh come on okay now we need our other piston which will go right here we'll go ahead and just destroy that just because I let you go in there give me that 
Thank you. All right, so there we go. Here's our other uh, redstone timer. We need the comparator coming out here. Of course, that and that. Same thing on this side. That. Another block and your redstone. Let's see, we're going to end up needing some more dust. Hopefully I got enough for everything here. So yeah, so this will end up shutting off the dispensers midway. And this isn't quite done yet. This is where it kind of gets a little, a little tricky, I suppose. It's not that bad. Uh, we're going to have to light up up here, huh? I don't know if I'm going to have enough torches because it's going to get dark up here real soon. All right, that'll be good enough for now. So yeah, so this will come up. It will trip this to start working because see that redstone torch is powering that. So no matter what happens with this in here, this will always be powered. So this will never move from there. So which means the timer won't work. But once this down here clicks and activates this, it will shut this all off down in here. And this will now be depowered because this side will be powered. And that will allow this to operate here. This like normal, like a normal timer. So, and then uh, there'll be less amount in here. So once that shuts off, it's going to reset this. And once this is reset, then that will be powered over there. And yeah, so it's actually a pretty easy setup here. Um, but it took me a little bit to figure this out. So uh, yeah but it works like a charm. All it comes down to really is just the timing of the system. Oh. So what we need to do from here now is this, I'm trying to think here. We're gonna end up having to run a redstone torch there. Think, yeah, okay, because that'll always be depowered while there's stuff in this hopper, which is under normal circumstances. So then we need to walk. I believe we need to come out this way. So yeah, that's, I think that's perfect right there. So we're gonna need to come down here. This will pretty much always. Let's just go ahead and how many items? I think I had. I'm gonna have to double check. Double check how many items in, I had in there. I believe it was 52. I don't use that. 52 or 56. Hmm. I think it was 56. I think I had 56 in there. It, trust me, I, I messed with the timings quite a bit. See, now that that's powered, that one turns off. So, this is going to come down this way. One more for this. Dun, dun, dun. I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think, trying to think. Okay. What we need here is we go like this. Ultimately, what we need here is we need a signal to go. Block that. We don't want that connected. We're going to want a signal to come back here. This will make a little bit more sense once I actually show operational. Um, let me see where's the line here. This is going to be the line coming out. I know. I'm sorry. I'm doing. Usually I'm pretty good about explaining my, my methods here, but uh, I'm not explaining it too well, and I know that. And I apologize. But this will come out. Like I said, this is our dispenser line. I really don't want to run that out yet because there, how's that? So all this will run out to our dispensers like so. And then, yeah, so this come out, we need this to power this line up 
as a quick pulse, which we will get a quick pulse for just a second with that. So we don't need to set up. I originally had a monostable circuit set up with this, but we don't need that. Um, we need, let's put three ticks. I believe that's what I put was three ticks on that. And we will run this like that. Okay. So now this should, I should probably make a lever, I suppose, huh? Just so we could test, what the heck, come on. So we could test this out. And 56, let's knock this just for now. Let's just knock this down so we can see it work. Make sure it's gonna work for testing. We'll only put 14 in there. All right, so. We'll go ahead and add this. This will all be connected in like that. Put our lever down. So that will pulse like that. See, now that switches it off. Now that's working. Once that timer's out, bam, it resets the system. Now, did it come down here? And I wasn't really paying attention to this. Let's do that again. We need that line to come down and power this before it powers that. Sweet. See how it did that? It comes through and hits that all up. Perfect, I think that is perfect. Doesn't need to be long before that one shuts off. Just needs to be, yep, perfect. Cause we don't want this, otherwise this wouldn't work. If this power came down here and hit this one before, um, after this was reset, then this would start the system all over again and it wouldn't work. So yeah, that's perfect. That works just like we need. See, now everything's on hold right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 56. I'll have to check that. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to set up the watering system. You know what? I think this episode's probably long enough. We've got, uh, well, you know what? All the redstone is done. All we need to do is start the timers if that's what we want to do, but... Uh, we're not going to. We'll set up the dispensers and test everything in the next episode. So uh, let's see. We've got uh, we've got we got the sun coming up. That's perfect. Let's look. Take a look at that. All right. Well, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do me a favor. Go down and hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Check out one of those other videos I'm playing on the screen. Let me know what you think on those. You can follow me on Twitter at 3 prong Gaming. You can also like me on Facebook in the same name. And until next time, keep on building. Peace.